here we are and here we go. I see something over on YouTube. I hear me. <laughs> Copying the link. YouTube. The YouTube link has been posted on the stream schedules in Discord. Hello and welcome to another stream here on just YouTube. I hope that this works. And also, you're amazing. Uh, Jake says, I hear you. <laughs> yes, uh, Anthony, I can only hear him. It's a thing. Anyways, it's fine. Uh, hey, welcome to the stream. My name is Anna Davis Cord. I'm a children's book illustrator. I'm not at all seething and mad. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> um, I'm more descending into sadness now. I feel like I just like... There's a weight on my shoulders. Um, anyways, we are going to hop into a wallpaper today, which is the calendar wallpaper that I'm designing for Patreon. You guys already know, but I'm just telling you for uh, for those who are watching in replay land, just know that we have had a day of technical difficulties, and this is basically the 15th stream. <sighs> And we're hoping it's going to be the last, okay? If there's ever any lag, just reload the page and we'll be back in a hot second, okay? And just assure that while you're reloading, I am frantically on my end being like, OBS work, OBS work, OBS work. <laughs> so, anyways. Yep. Oh, Anthony's the only mod. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sure it will be fine. Everybody be on your best behavior. We'll or... get that sorted out for later. <laughs> okay, so. Anyways, 20 minutes till monkey pause. <laughs> I've got nothing done. I'm so sad. Okay, so uh, there's a little Pikmin-ish design. Obviously, we'll work on it and everything. But I want to do, like, a little scene. Maybe of, like, three of them or something would be really cute. And that would be over here on the left. And then we have the calendar on a Z-Light. Can you imagine winter Pikmin? They're just, like, sticks. <laughs> oh, cute. Well, I was thinking something Snowflake. different. <laughs> maybe something like oh that's cute jake has a suggestion of yeah. maybe try unchecking the capture cursor cursor box in each of your scenes does that sound capture like something cursor box try unchecking the scenes. capture cursor box in each of your scenes yeah okay uh yeah. i don't scenes It doesn't, I, I'm right clicking on the scene itself, uh, and, huh, sorry, I clicked on that accidentally. <laughs> what was it? I switched our scene, so we went back to the starting soon. <laughs> oh, whoop. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I don't see anything that's capture cursor. Can you, uh, Jake Green says, in the scene properties. Scene properties. Scenes, property. Okay, so we go to properties of the individual scenes or of scenes? Oh, okay, here, scenes. It doesn't have properties. Is it in settings? Hmm, not sure. Or would it be Maybe we the... problem solve this after? Or do you think we're going to crash again? Oh, we're probably, I mean, we've changed nothing. So yes, we will crash again. Uh, but it'll just be, it'll pick up on this stream rather than Behance becoming a new stream. So it will be one stream. It'll just have weird bits. Cohesive uh, chaos. Properties. Okay, scene properties. Capture cursor. Okay, for the scene that we're sharing, you can no longer see my cursor on it. That's what changed. So we'll see if that changes anything. Huh? Huh? Okay, so uh, I'm not feeling this green anymore. I'm just gonna throw a hue saturation layer on it and zhuzh through. Ooh, what do you think? Ooh, <gasps> it's kinda interesting. Nice purple. <laughs> Dark Hour says, one stream to rule them all and in, in, in the, the darkness. darkness. Bind them. them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, I'm actually gonna, I think, put this on its own layer so I can sketch out some scenes on here. Okay, so I'm thinking kind of leading towards this. So maybe, um, what kind of environment do you think? 
Maybe like a windy something going You through. know, one of my favorite environments in fall is seeing trees from um, up top and far away. So you can see the swaths of colors shifting. Like, you know, if you're looking Perfect at for trees. a Pikmin who's down like on the ground, tiny, tiny. Oh, yeah. You could be a giant Pikmin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, these don't have to be Pikmin, so they could be any size. I mean, you could do multiple vantage points as well. Let's not limit our creativity with reason. <laughs> so describe the scene that you're imagining to me. And also read the chat. <laughs> well, we could have a Pikmin in the foreground, like that up close type of thing. But I was just thinking just stereotypical Central Park vibes where you could see the tops of trees, hundreds of trees. Maybe back here. And then the colors of red and yellow and orange. Hmm, I'm not feeling it right now. Let me think. I think I want two of them interacting. Like they're close together and then another Ooh, one. Kiss him. The third wheel. <laughs> no, like they're carrying something. You know how they carry stuff together and they're like hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Hip, hip hop, hip hop. Wait, these sprites that you just invented and don't have any resemblance hip -hop, to other hip -hop, creatures? Hip -hop, hip -hop. Right, right, right. Wait, they carry stuff like above their head, right? And they're like, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. There's like mm, a I guess it depends on what it is. If it's a big thing, I think they're just all around the edges. Uh, Alessandra can't find their Apple Pencil. No, Alessandra, it's over there. Ugh. I'm sorry. They could be carrying a slice of pumpkin pie. My gosh. I was thinking like a berry. Well, that's Stra also an option. Wait, strawberries aren't really a fall thing. You know what we have growing around here still is raspberries. Or like a blackberry. Then it would be like the background color. Hip hop, hip hop. But this is still too close. Hip hop. Hip hop anonymous. That one just became a berry head. <laughs> You're a berry head. It's a cherry head. No, I, okay. I take it all back. I'm going to have one contemplatively doing something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The thinking man pose. Yeah, I was just about to draw that. <laughs> Is that weird? No, no, no. Um, It could be on a mushroom. This could be a thing. So we go back to our sitting on a mushroom pose, but this time it's... A little sprite. <laughs> Their proportions are freaking me out right now. Sorry, I have to get used to them again. Kick up a leg. After a hard day of working, you know? And then it's looking out at the expanse of trees. And there's just tons of trees. Oh, yay. Yeah? I wasn't forgotten. <laughs> You're never forgotten, darling. Never, ever, ever. Uh, Dark Hour says, berries and cream? <laughs> <laughs> and Rin says, berry harvests. Harvest vibes are perfect. Yes, exactly. Harvest vibes. Jake Green says, channel. Anthony reads the mines. <laughs> well, watch out. Berries and cream mines. Dark Hour says, how about the sprite is resting after a long day of walking and collecting stuff? So you see all the stuff it's collected behind <gasps> it. That's very cute. Wow. I like very that. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yes, me, yes, yes. <laughs> and then we can carry the uh, the fall foliage through. Ooh, what if it's like a see-through calendar and this whole thing is fall foliage? Like an, a vista that it's looking out on. Oh, yeah. I think previously, while we were discussing some troubleshooting things, Joe was asking if we could put some um, birthdays on here for November birthdays, specifically those that are subscribers. That's very <laughs> cute. Uh, yeah, I could totally do that. And also, um, what was I going to say? Uh, I can give out multiple versions to multiple people. This is one of the things that I was thinking of for Patreon. Like, hey, if you want anything marked on the calendar, I can make it bespoke for you. That kind of thing. Because I would love to make things. I mean, that's super easy to just plop in there. Um, and I love celebrating people's special days, whatever they may be. So 
We've got our friend Corinne's birthday on the 21st. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Her birthday is on a Sunday. Woo, 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 woo. Corn. Yeah, get it, corn. Um, I'm thinking, what do Pikmin carry their stuff in? Is there a, a contraption of any sort? They take it back to the spaceship or their onion. I think they just carry it to a place that isn't really theirs. We'll pretend Except for the onion. just like a, a pile of fruit back here or something. Or in this latest Pikmin Bloom game, they just give it straight to you. Straight to me? Yeah. Wow. That's so nice. They bring me limes and cherry. Cherries? Was it a cherry? Maybe it's more citrusy stuff. I think there was one berry or an apple. My favorite part is when it becomes juice. In this game, it becomes a nectar, and then you just uh, feed it back to them so their leaf blooms into a bud and then a Aww. petal. And then you collect their petals. Oh no! What? And then uh, you harvesting Pikmin. You spread flowers with them on your walks. Okay. Your goal so is to cover them. the world in flowers. No, it doesn't hurt them. Thank goodness. And they grow back. Yes, I really like the idea of spreading the world with flowers. That's so cute. And also just being able to see where other people have walked. Cute, cute, cute. Have you seen anybody else making flower paths in the world? You know, it was hard to tell if it was my previous one or if somebody else did it. I haven't seen other people out in the app while I'm in the app. Mm. But you yeah, have an option to walk side by side with a friend and Aww. spread more flowers that way. <gasps> Let's spread a bunch of flowers. Yeah. Joe has the app and so does Rin, so we're friends on there, but we're in different parts of the world, so we can't really walk together. Yet. Yet. I'm We're on my way. Mod summit. Okay. <laughs> Spread flowers. <laughs> it's gonna be great. You'll see the path that I take over to Joe's. Uh, it's gonna yeah, be a weird one. Exactly. Oh. Joe says, You also get postcards. I haven't found any postcards, but I saw the little icon and I'm curious like what that's about. Joe is a much higher level them? than I am. Send postcards to people and be like, This is where I spread the flowers. Look it. <laughs> Dark Hero says, you can send postcards to each other. Yay. Send That's me one. so cute. As with everything Pikmin, I think they know their demographic very well. <laughs> and what they want is just cuteness and connection. That is very true. But <gasps> I would rather have a Pikmin 4 than this game. Truth be told. Oh, Anthony. <laughs> why? Um, and the in-app transactions, just so we could get a little... Complain. Go for it. There's an item that costs nine, $99.99. That's IRL? like two... Like yeah, you get coins so that you could buy things. To, it's like two full games to buy one in-game item. What's the item? Coins. So that you could buy other in-game items with your in-game no. coin money. No. Which I don't like. So that's why I'd rather have Pikmin 4. is because you spend $60 and then you just get a full game and you don't have to buy anything inside of it. Exactly. And it's less than <laughs> a pile of coins. And it's a game about walking. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, you don't have to buy them. But just kind of, I think it's kind of ridiculous that any in-game currency is more than a fully featured video game oh of course yeah that's insane uh the same kind of thing is going on with pokemon unite i think that microtransactions are just like they don't know or maybe they're just going for whales or whatever they call them where it's like yeah i'll spend that much whatever uh but not us um not us it yeah. It's not a huge demographic that, that could do that. No, no, not at all. But uh, in Pokemon Unite, they have, like, skins or whatever. Like, you know, the fancy look. And 
40 bucks easy and i'm like four dollars would be a stretch for me are you kidding me yeah <laughs> to look one? different it's ah. not a whole new game no forty dollars could buy you multiple whole new games absolutely Ooh, microtransactions are weird and they make me feel bad <laughs> yeah they make me feel bad too but it's one of those things that like I'm sure that they have some reasoning behind it. I'm just not going to be the one to use it. So that's just how it is. I don't think that they're necessarily trying to go for me. So No. The thing is, though, when it is a free-to-play game, it has to be fun on its own, right? Or else people obviously just won't play it. And it's kind of like survival of the fittest, but with video games. How many models can you think of of buying things in game? There's microtransactions, there's buying the game outright, there's a DLC, monthly subscription. That's four. You're doing other jobs. I can't think of anything. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Out of all of those, I think the one lump sum is my preferred method of For buying sure. a game. And then the option of DLC because. You're getting actual more gameplay that way. Absolutely. And then depending yeah. on what it is, I feel like that justifies whatever the cost is. For Breath of the Wild, I felt like it was a good $20 spent. Definitely. That's the thing is uh, DLC is a slippery slope that many game companies have like taken advantage of to mean we're going to give out a or sell a incomplete game so that we can just make money now and then finish the game later and sell it again as DLC. But the other yeah, side of it is like Breath is of the true. Wild. So, so worth it to be like, you just basically get more <laughs> like we added more and it's already such a complete game worth more than $60 in its own right. So the animal crossing dlc that's coming up how do you feel about that it is a lot of great content but do you feel like that's completing the game how it should be yeah i feel like it's a, a natural transition for the game without being a completely new one so it makes a lot of sense like they don't need to save that for another game because it fits so well into this one but it also uh doesn't feel like such a huge um price that it's like oh i don't want to add on to this game especially when the largest amount of people that I've seen playing the game haven't been playing it recently until they heard about the whole update and everything. Uh, and now they're back into it. And so if that's the case, then heck yeah, it's worth it. If it's like revitalizing your interest in a game completely. Yeah. Animal Crossing is a curious one because it's very seasonal. Mm -hmm. Whereas, say, Metroid Dread was a $60 game. It took about 15 hours to complete. And it's not one that you go back to daily or right. monthly. It's just one that you revisit when you play the want to play the whole game again. Animal Crossing, I feel like, would be aligned pretty well with a monthly subscription thing if it was like a low cost of entry where loads of people are paying like $5 a month for it or something. What's five times 12? Is that 60? Oh, don't ask me mon uh, month <laughs> math. <laughs> so you, that would be a full year. 60, yes. Wow, that took way too long. So. But then if you played it an entire another year, they'd be making twice the amount instead of just the baseline. It's a curious thing. Let's see what the chat has to say about <laughs> all of this stuff. Uh, Rin says microtransactions are insane in free to play games. And Jake Green says those microtransactions get people. Dark Hour says, Yeah, I don't think they've balanced the in game slash pay to play currency well. And goes on to say microtransactions make me feel icky when they misrepresent what level of access you get, like removing ads, but not actually. And Yo. Jake Green says, Pokemon Go got me. Fortnite also gets me. Also, are we not <laughs> crashing anymore? And then says, Spot on, Anna. I think Nintendo games have done it in the healthiest way. Um, and Kendall says, I hope there's no more crashes. And Rin says, same yeah. with Animal Crossing DLC. They have added so much free content and the expansion is actually super reasonable. And Jake Green knew off the top of his head, 12 times 5 is 60. Um, <laughs> Hieronymus <It was> asks, <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, we're video talking about games. video games and OBS crashing and Nintendo and Pikmin and 
you're here now. You'll you'll <laughs> you'll phase into what we're doing. We're at the beginning of the conversation now. <laughs> Rin goes on to say to Jake, "Sky, children of the light, got me because their cosmetics mm. have Ghibli vibes." Absolutely, that's true. That's true. Uh, by the way, Rin, have you seen the Steam game? Uh, it's not out yet, but it's coming out, I believe, next year, which is uh, Dordogne. Oh, yeah, that game cute. <laughs> uh, it's a French game that's all watercolor and very, very, very pleasing aesthetics. I think you would greatly appreciate it. And it's just like a little, I think it's, as far as I understand, of course, I don't look too deep into things because I like to keep it as fresh as possible for myself. I'm drawing on the la wrong layer. Whoops, 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 whoops. Um, anyways, uh, it is like a slice of life of this little girl and her grandma. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Back, back, you ready back, for back, monkey back, paws? Back. Oh no, I didn't go back. I, I don't have enough uh, to go all the way back. So I lost some of my sketches. Okay. Uh, you ready for monkey paws? Oh heck yeah, I'm ready for monkey paws. Let's do this. You know, I'm just very excited about how long we're getting to go without the dreaded you know what c word <laughs> <laughs> all right so if you're new here uh we have a hand stretch that i'd like to give you kind of instructions to go through so first what we do is we stretch out our arms straight in front of us crack your elbows if you must uh fingers to the sky palms away and then we curl our fingers into what we call a monkey paw ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> how does it feel to be back to ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> pretty good pretty good good Second pose, we put our fingers to the ground, palms towards ourselves, and then curl them in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Great job. And then third, we flip our palms out, fingers down, and then curl them in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Look at that palm. Oh, heck yeah. All and right. then fourth pose, we put our palms towards ourselves, fingers to the sky, and curl them in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, I heard ooh, that ah, crack very loudly. <laughs> I heard your elbows. Get over it. <laughs> It's fine. I just, I heard it. I heard Great. it. Great. Move on. All right, repeat these poses, holding for about a second each, around 10 times, so that we get a nice stretch in our wrists and our tendons. If and this doesn't bones. feel like uh, our bones, deep, deep in the bones, I feel it in the bone pit. <laughs> Why is I that? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> uh, the. These are hand stretches that we have come up with that help us, but if you feel like it just doesn't fit you or doesn't feel right, then uh, I encourage you to look up other stretches so that you take care of yourself because we're constantly using our hands and we got to take care of them so that later in life we don't regret our overuse. Um, my mom did have uh, carpal tunnel. Well, she still has carpal tunnel syndrome. It doesn't really go away, but she had surgeries for it. And she says that there's still pain in her hand even after the surgeries, it never really goes away. So uh, knowing that that kind of pain can happen and she's not an artist. She's, I mean, she does a lot with her hands and has for all of her life, but uh, just knowing the repetitive things that we put our hands through, I definitely want to make sure to try to avoid that at all costs and keep our hands good. Isn't this repetitive? I mean, this is repetitive, but this is a stretch rather than like drawing like this 5 million times and your wrist is like, God, why? <laughs> Uh, but any repetitive motions for too long can be very bad. Uh, and especially like if you do hardcore workouts or something like that, look up things that can happen. Like tennis elbow is a very common one. Um, runner's so, knee. Exactly. Your runner's knee while sitting in a chair. <laughs> uh, there are plenty of things that we can worry about, but we're just trying to prevent what we can. And when we're done, we just gently shake out our hands to loosen them back up. Ooh, ooh. And then Ibrahim's in the chat. Hello. Hey, Ibrahim. How's it going? Sorry for uh, having to scoot over here to YouTube exclusively, but thank you for following us. I'm going to roll the shoulders to loosen those up a little bit. And we like to do some neck stretches as well. So one of those is you put your ears as high as you can on each side. Reach for the sky. And over here. Anthony. Oh. Hieronymus has to go. The bell is ringing. The ringing of the bell compels. Compels. Yeah. <laughs> See you, Hieronymus. Have a great day. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Also, Jake Green is something saying something that I don't know if I understand. Now I messed up the controlled environment because I don't know if it's because you are not simulcasting or because of the cursor thing. Uh yeah yeah yeah. 
uh, you know, he's added variables. We changed multiple things, so we don't know which one of them worked. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, and then we uh, turn to the side as far as is comfortable for our faces. Our faces, our heads. Mm. Our faces are on our heads. Are the heads our home for the faces? It's really profound things that you're asking right now. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to stand up for a sec just to dance out the jimmies. I'm also curled up in a blanket, so I have to like unwrap. Jimmies is what they call sprinkles on the East Coast. Yeah, I have jimmies in my legs. <laughs> get those get sprinkles out of your pants. Pink, uh, what do you call it? Dangly these? bits. Braids. My hair is like coming out of them so much though. Look at that. <laughs> what are you doing, hair? Calm down. It's trying to get pulled. Get pulled. Get pulled. Oh, golly. I almost took my wire out. <laughs> All right. I gotta re burrito myself in this blanket. <sighs> All right. Ooh. Sluggo Jr. says, not just stretching, but I also just remember to open my shade to give my plants and myself light. All these things matter. Oh, yeah. Water yourself and your plants. Water yourself. <laughs> uh, thank you all for taking care of yourselves. I really appreciate it. We're going to create a community of healthy old artists. <laughs> We're all going to be here at 95 and just be like, I'm OBS fine. is crashed again. <laughs> oh, head on over to you. Like, <laughs> OBS point nine 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 nine. And is there anything else I want to say? Good job. Just drink water, rest your eyes, do all the good things. Do your old person. Come on, come on. Hey. Is that what you like? Yeah, but you. more. Hey. Not longer. Say more things. <laughs> Say less. Wow, uh, your laugh sounds so youthful in your old age. <laughs> I've become so cunning in my old age. Uh, <laughs> I was just quoting that the other day. Uh, excellent. While we were on our quoting. hike on Pal Butte, I was like, I'm as fast as ever, but the wind blows right through me. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Ugh. Uh, okay, so be an old person. Um, hello. hello. Hi. <laughs> Anthony Whippersnapper, get out of here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I'll not make you cookies next week. <laughs> what a threat. I've become quite cunning in my old age. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your you old like person that? needs like work. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting there. It'll take me another, like, 60 years, okay? Leave me alone. Plenty of time to practice. <laughs> no, I feel very old sometimes. Catch me when I'm waking up. Then I'll be like, uh, What? What do you want? Okay. Old does not mean mean. And no, I'm... <laughs> aggravated. I know that. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to make the voice happen, okay? I don't know what to say. You didn't give me any lines. <laughs> you said streaming while we're 90. Oh, stream... Okay, so... Welcome, to, Welcome the to another stream I'm here. Mary Davis Court. I'm still <laughs> making children's books, believe it or not. And this is my best friend, Anthony. He's been here for a millennia. <laughs> And you're like, what? But I have an H today. <laughs> you're just completely like beaming and shiny and like, ha, ha, uh, a newborn baby. <laughs> now, by then we'll have the technology where we could just use old videos of ourselves to like put over what we're saying now. And it'll be like a deep oh, fake like of deep young fake. us. Yeah, yeah. That's what's going to That's happen. what ABBA's doing for their new music video. No, they aren't. <laughs> they are. Are they? Like a what? virtual thing. They've got avatars for themselves. Avatars? avatars that's brilliant <laughs> i hope they oh there you go you got rid of your teeth got all gummy the tongue action was elderly <laughs> jay green says anna davis curmudgeon <laughs> <laughs> i haven't gotten many puns with my name i really appreciate it <laughs> please do more <laughs> was oh, it i was, was reading fun. something the other day that had cord at the end of it and i told james like oh i thought it was talking to us uh the good old days of yesteryear 
Mushrooms. Okay. Mushrooms. We got something sitting on that mushy in the end. <laughs> you know, we make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Hey, don't talk to me like that. Go back to your room. <laughs> oh, what's happening? Yes, Grandmama. <laughs> Mama? Mama? Papa? <laughs> I don't know. How does your uh, grandma talk? Do a little Claudia. I could read you the text message she sent to me about our Halloween stream photos that I sent her. That's so cute. You sent her our Halloween stream. Oh my gosh. Adorable. <clears throat> well, not the stream, but photos yeah, that we the took. Photos of it. Yeah. I could send her the stream, but I didn't remember what we talked about. And I don't want her to be like, you said, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay, a delicate grandma. soul. <laughs> no, she'd be fine with it. <laughs> She wouldn't. She called me out. No, really? One Christmas, she thought I said, oh, my God. And she's like, and then you can't say that. I was like, Grandma, I said, oh, my gosh, because I know you're here. I she's like that. have tried to censor myself before, and it's very difficult to hold It is on difficult, to. especially now, since I don't see her as often. So I, I don't know, say gosh as often. Yeah, I know. Uh, but oh, well. sorry for offending everyone. <sighs> <clears throat> I'm liking those pictures shows the fun you two are having. You probably were laughing through the whole thing. <laughs> and then she thought you were eating a piece of candy that was not out of its wrapper. But I think it was a piece <laughs> of popcorn. <laughs> Whoops. And then she said, Anna, you're supposed to take the candy out of the wrapper before you eat it. Have you been sipping the witch's brew? And yeah. then two emojis. <laughs> and then she said, Anthony, looks like you went trick-or-treating before you did that special stream. Winky tongue out. <laughs> the emoji. You're supposed to read as that. her. Oh, I can't. So <laughs> nice. Of I can't. I'll just call her and ask her to do it. So nice of you to both keep your friendships all these years. It's a real blessing. Love you. Aww she's so Thank sweet you. oh my goodness claudia what a gem thank her for me i love her i want to see her again zone of fly <laughs> i always think you know the red hot chili pepper is. shirts yeah i know <laughs> are about to say my last name but they don't the one that curves especially fakes us out the one that curves especially fakes us out what? <laughs> Say it again, but slower. I always think the Red Hot Chili Peppers shirts are about to say my last name, but they don't. The one that curves especially fakes us out. Hotchkiss. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Hotchkiss. Hot really Chili different. Peppers. <laughs> Hot Chili Peppers. Hot Chili? Hotchkiss. Hot Chili. <laughs> Anthony knows exactly. Kindle what you're hot chili. About. <laughs> um, try changing to to ah my goddess. Rin suggests. Oh my god, goodness. Oh my god. So adorable. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anthony reads the chat and it confuses him. <laughs> Always and forever. Anyway, mm. Anna's gonna draw for a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm drawing. Look at me go. Woo. Actually, I'm painting more like. Uh, I just wanted to get some stuff down to feel like we got some good progress in because I wasn't expecting today to be as turbulent as it is was. Yeah, but we're has been. smoothly gliding through the airways Shh, now. We don't address it. <laughs> don't address you started it. Tell it's me true. not to address it. Oh, I tell you not to address it. What I mean is, I love you. And you're so don't engage great. on this topic I brought up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's exactly how I feel. I should write a book. About You've been drawing some. That's true. And it's Nano Rhymo. So That's so true. on. Hey, who all's uh, participating in Nano Rhymo? If you don't know, it's a month-long challenge to write a novel. Nano Rhymo. A novel in a month? Are you kidding me? Well, a first draft. Isn't that like usually the the thing? Correct me if I'm wrong, of course. Uh, it takes George R. R. Martin, what is it, 12 years to write one, so a month seems Well, if you push through uh, first draft, like, it's not meant to be done, done, but you're supposed to get a certain amount of words in per day, and uh, if you keep up with that, then by the end you're going to have, like, this fat stack of writing. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> 
<laughs> you gotta get all the bad ideas out first. Like Is your grandma okay with you saying crap? <laughs> She's Think not watching. It. I say whatever I want. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm gonna send this to her and be like, see Don't you does. dare. You said it first. <laughs> crap, 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 crap. Stop it. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel I like you're maybe to. making fun of my grandma now. <laughs> no, I love Claudia. I would never make fun of Claudia, but I I I will probably accidentally say that in front of her someday and I'm I'm sorry, but it's <sighs> I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. <laughs> You're weird. Am I? I don't know. Tell me how to Jake feel. Jake Green says, you should write a book. And Kendall says, join me for Nano. I'm very behind. And Jake <laughs> Green says, I bet you could make the most amazing books all by yourself. And Kendall says, I'm supposed to be at 5,001 words today, but I'm still in the first 100. LOL. Nice. You oh, know, that really scales. What do you mean? 5,000 words in three days. What's five divided by three? <laughs> Two repeating. I don't know. 246, 1.5. Is it 1.5? 1.66? 1.33? 1.33? 1.33? Help. <laughs> oh, don't ask me for help. I'm sorry. Well, smile on a little dude. Yeah? Oh, yeah, there it is, kind of. What kind of? A little grin. Do you see the little grin? And you Kendall in, says it's 1,667 grin. words per day to get to 50,000 words by the end of the month. And Alessandra says 1.6 repeating. Hey, something, like something was repeating. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I feel like math has been brought up a lot in this stream, and I'm very... It's um, not our forte. Yeah, let's get away from it. Yeah. <laughs> It's not good. <laughs> it's okay. Together we look less net because it's. It's because of, us, of all right? the numbers. The calendar is making it mathematical. It's true. Should I get rid of the instead calendar? of yeah? In, well, yeah. <laughs> instead <laughs> of the numbers on the days, maybe we just I don't know. Put rocks there instead. It's been a rocky kind of day. Rock fact. Algebraic. Algebraic. That's from Adventure Time. Yeah? I don't know. Jake Green says, I encourage my kids to use the full spectrum of language, but to be aware of how that language might affect others. You're a better grandma. <laughs> I'm going to show this to Claudia, and she's going to be like, what? Maybe she'll learn something from Jake Green. <laughs> oh! We all could. I mean, honestly, yes. If I need, uh, or if I think, I oh, no. When you think you need advice on something, that's probably like a time that you needed advice earlier, right? Is that a proverb? The, it's very dark, and then now I'm like glowing with this like sunset color. You kind of look like the Pikmin. Sun's getting real low. You have a dark bluish background, and you're all orange. You're the Pikmin. And then you've got yellow in your background, which is like the leaf. And one spot of green. It's my we call yoga that Jake's green. <laughs> foam roller. Jake Green says, haha, lol, wow, flattered. <laughs> it's true. Better than all the grandmas. What does this guy look like? Is he cute or is he fleshy? Fleshy and cute. <laughs> like a naked mole rat. Is it weird? Is it cool? I don't know. May have gone Exclusive? Doesn't have to be. Those are. This could be one and the same. Sanctum says, that Pikmin is looking good. Thank you. <laughs> he looks something. I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Again. Keeping all the visuals on brand, Jake Green <laughs> says. Uh, should we have, I don't know, like a little star in the eye as a little specular highlight. And then, and then, and then, I want to get a, at least a general layout of all this fall foliage because I feel like especially with fall foliage that's like in the background it doesn't need to necessarily be super detailed whoops that's getting smaller I want it to be bigger what do you think we'll do for the next stream do you think we'll try simulcasting with the cursors 
option off and that might be the actual oh, I'll solution. I'll test it when we're not live for sure. Oh, that's right. Testing things. I yeah, we can test that. things. <laughs> I He's love got really things. wide laser vision. It's actually a dragon. <laughs> yeah. It's got fire breathing eyeballs. Yeah, He's maybe setting we'll... November ablaze. I don't know. We'll have it like fade in or something. I'm not sure. I'm just getting a general kind of layout, and then I think we'll probably fade to maybe like a misty blue at the bottom. Ooh. Oh, also, Rin's back and says, oh, wow, what a catchphrase. I walk back into my study, and the first thing I hear is Anthony exclaiming, fleshy and cute, like a <laughs> naked mole rat. <laughs> Gotta rename the stream. Fleshy and naked, like a mole rat. What? <laughs> fleshy and cute, like a naked mole rat. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Woo, woo, woo. We need... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. Uh, and then we'll have all sorts of mixtures of trees and such. Anthony, you're the expert on uh, fall foliage at a distance. This was your brainchild, so let me know if this is fitting, not fitting, whatever your brain came up with yeah this looks exactly like what i saw yesterday oh really from up on powell butte was it full of colors full of colors oh, you gotta show me some pictures which i'm guessing you got right 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 no i didn't take a camera how okay well that's okay i wanted to say how dare you obviously but <laughs> then it's like i know that you take pictures of a lot of things and i don't want to pressure you to use your life as like only taking pictures i feel pressured this <laughs> looks like a a sloppy bowl of fruit a right sloppy now. bowl of fruit <laughs> and this pikmin's just waiting <laughs> it's waiting for its chance to have some sloppy bowl of fruit so it's like yeah. drooling it's like madly <laughs> that looks like a beard wait redo it oh it is cute <laughs> Oh yeah, I've been waiting oh. for that for so long. I have a beard of rule. Uh, a beard of rule. <laughs> ah. What else do? Oh, um, oh, um. Oh, do we want any evergreens in here? Breaking it up. Do we ever? <laughs> Boo. Boo. Queen of slime. <laughs> Queen of putrescence. Boo. Yeah, I feel like the green kind of sets it off, which is nice. Jake Green singing from a distance. Do you know that song? I can go. Do the I know distance. that song? No. I can go the... from a distance. Maybe it was just sung lyrically while we said it, like we were talking about before the stream started. Melodically. <laughs> I had totally forgotten about that conversation, and now it's all rushing back. <laughs> it's all rushing back. Rin says, warming up with some hot potato soup and French Ooh, bread. Yum! That sounds delicious. Want to share it with the class? Please? Please? I was thinking about making some soup, and we have some potatoes. <gasps> what if I made a potato soup? You could do that, <gasps> since you have the ingredient for it. <gasps> Amazing! What else do you put in it? Ginger? Mm, leeks. Do you have leeks? I looked for them yesterday, and I couldn't find any. No, we don't have leeks, and uh, what was the other thing we don't have? Most things. <laughs> we're, we're out of most things right now. We're trying to get So maybe low. we don't sign up for StreamYard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not because of that. It's because we're going on vacation next week. Um, and so we want to oh, get right. low on groceries for that, and then uh, we also are ordering groceries for when we go we're gonna take like some non-perishables with us good planning you know I mean? yeah jay green says bet midler i think midler and then says delicious delicious <laughs> i like potato soup says jay green it is uh, pretty good it's delicious and rin says all the noms Ooh, what what vacation going on vacation it's very exciting and Sluggo says, I do a leek soup a few times a month. Love it. <laughs> That's where all my leeks are going. <laughs> the leek budget has been spent. Oh, man. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, if you can make some good leek soup, do so. 
Also, potatoes and leeks, just match made in heaven. You know what I want to get? I forgot about uh, when pandemic times hit, we started ordering groceries and I haven't got them since. Shallots. I got a shallot oh, every yeah. time I went to the store way before. Way before? <clears throat> you know, in the before times. Shallots are good. Shallots are great. I love a good shallot. And I saw a recipe for some like fried shallots that you could put on top of things. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I could do that. Trying that out. After this stream, I think I'm going to make some bruschetta. Ooh. Do you have, like, what, what do you have for it? Tomatoes? Tomatoes. Um, I think this one calls for, the bruschetta is like the little breads and you put like a topping on, on it, right? Yeah. Is that? That's my knowledge okay. of it. I've got a sourdough loaf that I'm going to slice up onto the bread thingies, toast them. And then the Mediterranean cookbook I has have has a recipe for like this sardine mixture with mint and a couple of other herbs and red onion, I think. Mm -hmm. It's pretty tasty. I've done it once before. Um, but the main component of it, I suppose, is the sardine. Yeah, you told me about the sardine one and it was uh, it tre treated you well. Eh? Yeah, it's tasty. I never thought I would like sardines, but I started following a healthy food blog type of thing and they suggested some recipes and sardines kept coming up again and again. And then I saw them at Costco and I was like, well, I guess I'll try it. Time to try and they're it. not bad. Well, they're basically <clears throat> like salty, moist things, right? So it would be it's like, like a, tuna. an olive or a, it's like tuna. No, I mean, yeah, sardines are fish, but it doesn't taste as fishy. Mm -hmm. to me I don't think what I hear about them like especially when they're on pizza I'm vegetarian so I don't know I've never had them but uh, the, on pizza they say it's kind of like having an artichoke heart or something because it's just a little salty something is that anchovies anchovies never mind I take everything back I don't know about sardines <laughs> what are they like <laughs> I think sardines are a little bit bigger than anchovies maybe two okay. to three inches long Anchovies, I feel like, are smaller. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had anchovies. I've definitely never had anchovies on pizza because something about that just makes my brain think, no. <laughs> <laughs> Curious. Hmm. But I'll have to try it. I do like pineapple on pizza, and I know that's pretty divisive. So maybe I'll like an anchovy pineapple pizza. <laughs> I need everyone's opinions on all of this. Anchovies, pineapples, <laughs> sardines, sardine cans. That's what sardines are, right? They come in a can. They do come in, in a, like a little rectangular tin. Tuna fish comes in that circular can. I'm not sure about anchovies. I want to say they come in a jar, but again, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. No, it's not me. <laughs> if you Anna come doesn't to this eat place fish. for like knowledge about things, <sighs> sorry. What are you doing? What are you doing, silly goose? Thank you to Get come here. here. <laughs> Learning things. Oh, no, no. Alessandra asks, Sue, where are y'all going for vacation? Uh, we are going to Long Beach, Washington. I'm very excited uh, because we've been there before. This is James and I are going on vacation up there um, for three days. Yeah. And it is adjacent to the town that my grandparents were in uh, for most of my life. They had a house in Astoria, which if you've never seen Astoria, you should Google it. It's beautiful. Uh, it's got just the most charming village kind of feel. <laughs> what would you call it? I don't know. River, river town. It's kind of like in Howl's Moving Castle when they come out to um, the river kind of area where the bomb bomb boat happens. <laughs> that doesn't sound very welcoming. But If you're comparing <laughs> it to a movie, maybe you should go with The Goonies. The Goonies was filmed there um, somewhat. There's also another beach down the Oregon coast that they got, like uh, Haystack Rock, which I believe... Is that Garibaldi? No, I think that's Cannon. Hey, Cannon? I don't know. I get a lot of the beaches mixed up because they... They're all the West Coast. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to just like get out of the house. We haven't done this in so long. Um, and we just got our legitimate N95 masks, which makes me feel a lot safer about, about like going to a place and being around people. 
So that was kind of uh, one of the things that we were kind of like, okay, well, maybe we can do this now. Yay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Jake Green says, I saw a tweet earlier about, quote, choosing potato. And Rin says, I'm not sure if I've had a leek soup. I should try it. And Kendall says, yes to all the shallots. And Rin says, I love shallots. Ah, and I have a spice jar filled with dehydrated shallots. And I add it to roasted veggies. All the nom. Jake Green (laughs) says, somebody was giving trick-or-treaters the option of candy or potato. Depends on that okay. potato, I guess. Yeah, is this like a golden Yukon? Is this a russet? Is this a yeah? Red? If I'm choosing between like a Three Musketeers and a russet, I'm probably gonna take the Three Musketeers. I think it if depends I was on what you've got. Choosing between at home. a yeah, candy wise or potato wise. Say Both. you have nothing at home. You have nothing at home. This is a blank slate. It's just Would up you to your mood. Then you're just like hmm, a russet over a candy bar. And what size candy bar? If this is like a russet, it's a huge potato. You make a lot with that. Okay, here's another th- consideration. So you, you are ketchup. going Halloween, Halloweening, trick or treating. Yeah. No. <laughs> and uh, you are getting candy at every door. You have nothing at home. Not every door. One of them offers you a potato. Then one of them comes up with this original new spin on things. Are you going to take one more Three Musketeers of which you already have 10? Or are you going to take a hefty russet? I'll take the hefty russet. I'm known for just bringing out a yam unexpectedly. (laughs) I've been trying to make brownies out of it. But if I already have a bag full of... It was bad. It was bad. (laughs) And I cried. (laughs) I cried because it was both sad and because all of my friends were making fun. No! <laughs> what was this? They were tears of joy and sadness. When did this it's happen? It's about four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine five year old Anthony being sad about his brownies and no, it was four years ago. <laughs> yeah, no, it was recent. Um, they turned out awful. And then oh, when I tried no. to put, I tried to put the powdered sugar topping on, uh, at the very end, yeah. and the, it was too oily. Oh. So the oil seeped into the powdered sugar, and it just oh, looked no. like yellow snow no. on dirt. Why was it so oily? <laughs> and then when Rosie tasted it, she legit was like, "Mmm." <laughs> from a recipe or from your mind book of recipes oh it's from a recipe well then blame them bad. they did that to you that's not you man you just had a yam Ugh. and you tried your best yeah <laughs> <laughs> but then they just made fun of me of like bringing a yam out of my backpack and they're like who are you anthony I was like don't worry up? about me i brought a yam <laughs> <laughs> i'm good don't have to order food for me just preheat the oven to 375. <laughs> I remember your yam face. Oh my, my yam gosh. face. <laughs> I'm just jamming with the yammies. There were yams everywhere. They were coming out of his ears, man. Oh, that was great. So I'd go for the russet. Oh, knowing man. me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A root vegetable? I'm there. <laughs> oh my gosh, Anthony. Ugh, that's too good. I didn't anyway. know about any of this, but. Um... <sighs> You should have told so me. I tried to repress it. Ren <laughs> says, Anna, we need a future food illustrations stream. Something for the hype of the cooking coming to Animal Crossing, maybe? Ooh, Ooh, autumnal oh. harvest is perfect for a vegetarian feast. And Kendall says, yes to sardines. And Jake Green says, none of the above. Thanks. And Sluggo says, pineapple on pizza fight. Go! And Sluggo goes on to say, sometimes I just pose the pineapple on pizza question in a crowded room just to see what happens. <laughs> and Jake Green says, yay, vacation! Because I'm on vacation! It's very exciting. Um, Ibrahim says, yay, vacation as well. And Rin goes on to say, ooh, sounds like a lovely vacation location, Anna. And <laughs> Ibrahim says, I'm coming back from vacation right now. Oh, but I don't want to go back. Yeah, I'm sorry. Dark Hour says, sometime. I mean, what if the potatoes is a bag of chips? <laughs> <laughs> a very solid quandary. <laughs> Jake Green says, I'll okay, I've downloaded salty. Pikmin Bloom. Choose potato. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Hours goes on to say, no one ever expects the yam. And Kendall says, I mean, baked potato is just as good, if not better than candy. 
better, honestly. I love a it. whiff of potato. Pikmin. A whiff. Is that what the illustration looks like? A whiff of Pikmin. A whiff of Pikmin. <laughs> Welcome Pikmin to November. It's your time for a whiffing of Pikmin. <laughs> Tucker says, oh no, Anthony, I'm so sorry. Rin says, oh gosh. And Sluggo says, lol, I forgot what a tonic Anna's cackle can be. I need to stop in more often. <laughs> that was just for you. Oh, That's the one gosh. old person thing you've got down, Pat. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to be the uh, best old person. We'll yeah, see what I Yeah, you're going to be a oh, true witch. <laughs> <laughs> what, you just called me? A tree bitch. <laughs> okay, well, that's not appropriate. Whatever that. Captions is, is off. We could go. Oh, right. wild. Captions <laughs> is off. We're like a kid in a potato shop now. <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want um, potatoes. Please give me potatoes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The party <laughs> doesn't start till Anthony arrives with a yam. Doctor <laughs> says, then goes on to say, jamming with the yammies. You guys, and don't worry. Says, I've Come got on. dinner. <laughs> They're all like, right. should we get pizza or Chinese? What do you think? And then you're like, I brought Damn. one for all of you. <laughs> it's, big... it's big enough for everyone. Uh, I mean, a yam could be pretty large, right? It's kind of like zucchini. Yeah. So just like a yes. wombo. Yam. Yam. <laughs> That's like saying damn. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks for spelling it out. We need yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Y A M. <laughs> Yam. <laughs> yam. This is the yam stream now. Yam, 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 yam. I pulled my yam um, string. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Darko says, you and I both to Alessandra, who had said, I wish I could take a vacation next week. And Darko Do goes on to say, but soon, a kid in the potato shop, new illustration idea. And Jake Green says, Do I need to allow Pikmin Bloom to track my activity across other apps? <gasps> I think it was something like Google Fit needed access to it for accounts or whatever and then sure. it also wanted access to your album if you wanted to have photos be a part of it but pick chers um rin says boil them mash them stick them in a stew, in a stew. <laughs> dark hours and shake rain both finished lynn or rin left it hanging oh, i love you guys <laughs> rin goes on to say jake it has you download Google Fit and uses the data from that for your travels. And then Jake Green says, Yam! I see. <laughs> and Dark Hour says to Jake Green, you'll need the tracking on if you want to track your walking, but I think you can... That can be while using app only. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, if you intentionally go out on a walk and have the app open. But otherwise, it could just count steps in the background just to count to towards your total steps in a day. Nice. Just someone always paying attention to you forever and ever every step you take every breath you make what is that i'll song? be tracking you i'll be tracking you rin says i had to leave it hanging i knew these friends wouldn't let me down <laughs> you know them <laughs> you know should we just do that as like a finish the sentence kind of thing maybe that's what we do for the next podcast is we just do like a two hours worth of Every unfinished step sentences you, and then you have to like figure it out yam <laughs> <laughs> he's just delirious at a certain this is point ad -libs. Just, yam, yam, isn't yam. it ad libs no ad libs is yam, different yam. uh finish this like whatever would be like a slogan sandwich section where it's like uh what's the slogan for like uh ba -da -ba -ba -ba. i'm loving it boom nailed it see i don't want to do that an hour of that best just how much has capitalism overtaken your <laughs> brain cells just one section of it okay so the rest of it would be like uh can't something. think of anything about jingles i'm giving up on you boom <laughs> nailed it <laughs> roast it <laughs> that's what i feel in this moment <laughs> oh if you want to go real niche we could just do uh, like uh inside jokes of you and yeah. I, like gay <laughs> question mark <laughs> I like that more. I looked in the mirror and then I laughed at myself. <laughs> you just said the whole thing. Oh, whoops. No, Sorry, there's was, more to it. Let me explain that inside joke. No, no, no. That's not what this is about. <laughs> but the thing is, the listeners have to have some joy from listening to it. 
kind of what I mean, they show up to this for some reason, so they might like whatever. And this is exactly that, right? We're just finishing each other's inside jokes constantly. That's what I was going to say. Is that from Arrested Development first or Frozen? Arrested Development first. Frozen is the sequel to Arrested Development. Clearly, season five, or whatever it was before season five was there. I'm gonna make it like the trees are like blowing, like whoosh, because the old north wind. Oh, you house. Da, 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 oh, I don't da, like that. Oh no. Da da da. Make you wish you Queen says, well, won. yeah, the GPS stuff was like Pokemon Go, but the other app activity was different. And Rin says, that would drive some of us mad. Bahaha. Two hours of unfinished sentences. Ooh, an interactive game night could be fun, like Mad Libs. And Jake Green says, it's like trivia. And Dark Hour says, I would self-corrupt. And Jake Green says, I'm in. And Dark Hour says, my brain couldn't take it. Take me back to the yams. And Gimli says, LOL. And Rin says, right, Jake? Loves it. You know, Jake's just down for whatever. He's that uh, audience member that you assume every audience member is. Where he's just like, yeah, sure, I'll listen. Everybody else is like, I'm out. No, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Tarkora says, okay, okay. But hear me out. Hmm. Trivia night. Trivia night. We did that once before on Discord. I remember. Yeah, it there was, was me, trivia night. Mao B. Yeah, and, and Joe. Joe. And then Anna for the last 10 minutes or something. (laughs) I sucked, but yes, totally. (laughs) That was really fun. Uh, I think it takes organization, which is, you know, all of our weak points. (laughs) Not mine. Um, (laughs) Motivation is my weak point, not organization. (laughs) Okay, so organize trivia night, yeah? And then you do it? I'm down, yeah, I can perform. I just can't, you know, do the... (laughs) the before parts (laughs) uh i think that having some kind of like oh it's going to be this kind of trivia is one of the things that is like holding me back with that it's just like okay what kind of trivia does this community want to be a part of or feel like they know a bit about Hmm. that's a good question i feel like i don't know a lot about any one given thing so like jeopardy where you have multiple categories yeah or I suppose you could like flourish in different areas, yeah. Does that sound I good? suppose you could. Yeah, it does. Nice. Jake Green says I've plucked my first Pikmin. Ah! What are you gonna name him? Uh, name him. Uh, Barnaby. Anthony. Uh, oh. Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a narcissist. Uh, no, after Anthony Jackson. <laughs> Duh. Hey, no, that's not <laughs> us. <laughs> I'm here currently. No, 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 no. Uh. But what's a good Pikmin name? What'd you name yours? Adam and Eve. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, it's a game about gardening, and they also create a lot of other Pikmin, so I, I felt it so. was very appropriate. I suppose so. Uh, what's the name of the two characters from uh, Good Omens? <sighs> David Tennant. Yes. And Martin the blonde Sheen. one. Come on. Is that David Tennant? No. Is the blonde one David Tennant? <laughs> You're going to be so good at trivia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> you roasted me like a yam at 375. <laughs> For how long? Were you cut it in oil? Yeah, I don't know. Did it was about two seconds. <laughs> Maybe I was on broil. You broiled me. It's the next level oh roasting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't it Martin Sheen? Michael Sheen. He says Mike. Er, Joe- Crowley. My- yeah, Sir Joe Pluckington von Rootsworth Rin suggests for a name. But Anthony it is. And Dark Hours says Anthony. And then Dark Hours also says I haven't named any of mine. And Dark Hours says about trivia, we could vote on categories. And Rin says Mr. Ooh. Crowley. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Song. Sorry, sorry. And Rootsworth is such a name. Rootsworth. Bondi I've named Rootsworth. them Anna and Anthony. Or Anthony and Anna, rather. <laughs> <laughs> Put little hearts next to them. To never let them die. Never they always let have to be a part die. of your squad. <laughs> now They're the called squad. <laughs> Uh, so this was the thing. Okay, you know how I'm so sad on Pikmin. If you... 
<laughs> you know how I'm so sad. <laughs> Go on. Sorry. Context and prioritization of words. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, the Pikmin game, when you are ending the day, you have to round up all your Pikmin and go back to the ship. If you forget a Pikmin or it somehow gets that left behind. That doesn't happen. It, in this game, it, it doesn't dies. happen. It, Not in, in this the game. games, it dies. Okay. In the so, games, yeah. Their little ghosts come out and everything. But this game does not have that. Thank goodness, but I'm just, I'm telling you a story. So, uh, James oh. is saying that he knew someone who, when they played the game, they would wait till the last 10 seconds to get to the ship and then call all the Pikmin and whoever got there first lived. And he said it was just like survival of the fittest. You won't beat the game that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was just for show or whatever, but it's still just like, oh, if, you know, I well, would watch I'm you. I'm glad play he Pikmin. has a video game to have that outlet in. <laughs> Truly, but uh, you never know, let I that would person watch... command a spaceship. <laughs> uh, whenever I was watch you play, I'd be like, "Get all the pick." No, make sure. I think you left one. Go back for Jake Green has to go. Bye, bye. Bye, Jake. Have a great night. Uh, and enjoy your pickmining. Go on. Jake a walk. Green says, Take "Gotta minutes. go feed the mouths." Those mouths. <laughs> They're never truly fed. They just I don't know if this going. is children mouths or animal mouths or both. Because earlier oh, he said them. Aaron had to leave for Girl Scouts. So I don't know if the girls are scouting with Aaron or if he's feeding the animals. Or maybe they're going to come back and have some dinner. But uh, how long do girls animals, scout? So. <laughs> it takes a both. while to scout all of the, the mouths. <laughs> Oh okay bye bye, bye have a good, have a good night, night. <laughs> kendall's asking so what platform is this game on pikmin bloom is on mobile both android and apple Apple. yeah you have an android phone now right i have for a little while yeah. the last phone i had was a well the phone before this was also a pixel um but before that i was iphone 6s then after the 6s i went to a pixel 3 now i'm on a pixel 4 do you think they pixel chose 6 six just came out do you think they made a, it 6s to make it sound like success no it was just their naming convention but it was a successful phone for as long as i had it so. or did they just make you think yeah. that way it's all well, I don't know if they did all the way because I switched platforms, didn't I? <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> you showed them. But yeah, the uh, Android platforms, I always wonder if things are going to come out for them. I feel like it used to be that it was like Apple first, you know, with every app that came out. I'd be, <clears throat> I'd be like, oh, man, I'm a, the only Android user in my friend group and everybody else is playing this and I can't access it. Blah. And now it's kind of more equal where people are it like. It is definitely more equal. We need it. Yeah. There are some exclusive things per platform. I think there's Google platform only and Apple platform only mm -hmm. still. Probably just because it's easier to develop for one if you only have the resources to make it happen. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm really glad that they came out with this Pikmin game. I didn't even think about it as being like a, uh, a stand-in for a full game. I just thought like, <clears throat> oh, happy surprise. Here it is. So I'm sorry if it took the place of your beloved next Pik Pikmin game. Oh, who knows? They didn't say. No. Well, okay. I want in. But who am I to judge? I haven't even finished Pikmin three. <laughs> really? What's it's a two-player. We should play it together. Yeah, we should. Oh my gosh, little. Uh, what's the second player's name? Louis. Louis. He's not in the third one. The third one's Aww. a new cast of characters. It doesn't even have Omar in it. Olm. Captain Olimar. Olimar. Oh, yeah, they have a female Pikmin, right? Which is, well, female coded Pikmin. I don't know if they ever actually have. No, or not the Pikmin, Pikmin aren't sorry, gendered. The, the astronauts. What do they call them? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Adventurers. They're cute, though. They're adorable. I love them. 
Olimar, Louie. <laughs> I remember playing that with you and having such a good time. Aw. Yeah, it's a good time. It is. I want to play that. Except for when the mansion. Pikmin gets slaughtered. That doesn't happen, though. We don't let it. We save them. No, all. we're not like that weirdo. <laughs> Whoever that is. Whoever that is. Um, Dark Hour says, I can super recommend it. And Rin says, I do love my Moto G stylus. And Ooh. Kendall says, except I won't be able to play for a bit. I have to wait for my toe to heal. It's getting too cold to wear sandals, Aww. but my toes still can't tolerate closed toe shoes. You could shake the phone. That works, I think. Really? Alessandra says, this looks amazing, Anna. And Dark Hour oh, says, you. I will send you postcards in the meantime. In and the Sluggo meantime. says, just realized once again that you all are playing background music. Shame on me for not using my iPods in the first place. And Kendall says, yay for postcards. Yes. That's the background music. It's pretty good. Uh, background music on here? I don't know. I never hear the background music because oh, yeah. Anna streams it through her desktop. So it's just a void for me. Oh, my. It's like, uh, you remember in the community episode when they're telling the scary stories and Abed's like, duh, 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 you know? Boop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and then uh, Troy's like dancing along. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Following I believe the that comes back later in the season. <laughs> so good. Uh, Troy and Abed always. Uh, it's kind of like that, you know? Yeah. Rin says, oh, yes, you can shake the phone to turn on the flashlight, and it's actually come in handy more times than I expected. Oh, ho, ho. Interesting. Ibrahim says, gotta go. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone. Same to you. Have a bye, great bye, night. Bye, bye, bye. Kendall says, I'm hopeful to get to wear shoes again. And Dark Hour <laughs> says, add me, Kendall. My code is on the Discord. Yeah, we've got... <laughs> Our friend codes on the all the best games on the Discord, which you could find in the games category on the channels. Who would have thought? On the left hand side. Who would have? I'll have to download it after this. Yeah, it's fun. You and James go on walks. It could be cute. Absolutely. To play with yells. We'll go all over Long Beach and spread flowers on the beaches. Perfect. Very good. It also has an AR mode, so you could take pictures if you're Pikmin in little cute situations. Adorable. I like that. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a very different color. Um, wait, see. Slogo says, wait, you aren't playing background music? Okay, where is this coming from? Oh, no, there are. is background music yeah. playing. I just can't hear it because of the way our stream is set up. Yeah, we have uh, background music from Harris Heller's Stream Beats, uh, what do you call it, playlist, which is royalty-free intended for streams uh and if it bothers any of you let me know i can always like skip the song or turn it off or whatever i just think it helps with uh masking some of the background noise and keeping a little beat under us you know yeah well i don't but yeah dark hour says also massive disclaimer that i am walking super much right now because of my dog being with me this week so please Aww. don't feel intimidated or demotivated by my numbers <laughs> oh i wasn't never, never. I just figured it was because you downloaded it before I did. Nice. I like that, though. Yeah, it's true that... I mean, don't be demotivated by anybody else in a, any game. <laughs> They're just doing their thing, man. Yeah. It. It's cool. It's a game about you walking, not other people walking. So. Yeah. It's just to help you get out and move around more. Which... If your toes can handle shoes. <laughs> if your toes can handle shoes. <laughs> Uh, it immediately reminded me of Pokemon Go. Do you feel any kinship with that? Oh, yeah. It's based off of the same platform. Mm -hmm. It's by Niantic, the company that makes Pokemon ah. Go and another game called Ingress. So it's got some of the same stops. You know how Pokemon Go had, like, the Pokemon that you would go out and battle together? Yeah, I don't know what it was called, like a raid raids. battle or yeah, something. totally. These have, like, giant flowers that you could help blossom Aww, together. Cute. I'm still not 100% sure on how to do that. Like, do you just stand by it? I get to these flowers and I poke them, but nothing <laughs> happens. <laughs> poke the flowers. Duh. Poke them, poke them, poke them. <laughs> Did you poke them? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I got a message from... Oh, from Big Jake Gam. wants to be friends. I'm P Pikmin Bloom. Oh my gosh. How exciting. Look, it's so cute. 
You see me marching around? No, probably oh, not. Oh, yeah, wait. Can you see it a little bit? Oh, you're so bright. I have to, like, angle my phone. Wow, it's That's so dark me. in here. I'm gonna open the shades. Can you see? Can you see? No, it's still so dark. Wow. Uh, your phone isn't there anymore. I can't even see it if it... It's too bright. Huh? Yeah, Those are my little like guys. Wow, my little, my little guys. Look at those guys. They're so cute. So, how do you gather Pikmin? You blow your whistle. No, I mean, like, how do you <clears throat> make them? Oh, you've got these planters. This is the worst way to show off this game. Indeed. You get these planters. And oh, you am plant I supposed little to still pots. Have a big... Oh no. You play the game. <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Anyways, I just came on here to print Jake Green. I don't know how to do it. Oh, wait. <sighs> it's that. <laughs> good, 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 good. This is all good. I'm working on also being an old person. Yeah, oh, except... you're doing a great job, as always. <laughs> Friends. Yay. <laughs> wow, I'm so intimidated by this level and the amount of steps that you've taken. <laughs> it honestly is a lot more than I'm at. But I'll course, get there. Yeah. I believe in me. I and if anything, in just accountability partners, right? That's what your high number is, is you're motivating me to walk more. Exactly. Well, and I mean, honestly, motivating me to get a dog because that's a great motivator. <laughs> I took Ashley out for a walk earlier. Oh, my gosh. How perfect and totally the same. <laughs> it's my equivalent. I don't think I'm allowed to get a dog while I live here. Nah. But, uh, I'm glad you walked your Ashley. We took turns. She walked me, I walked her. Good, good, good. We good, walked good. together. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Sloop de doo? Sloop to indicate wings. This calendar's really getting lost in there, huh? Well, it's not there. I mean, it's like too opacity. So I think I'm going to make it something like a white. Beep. Bop. And oh my gosh. Uh, just keep in mind that this is, here I'll just copy this. Rin says, oh my goodness, Anna, this uh, autum or autum autumnal, autumnal canopy is looking so lush and amazing. Thank you. Ah. And Dark Hour says, I love how wispy it is. And Rin says, I love the movement that the swoosh of water and landscape creates. Is that mist? Or is that water? Is it a it's raging a, river? Uh, what would you call it? A graphic element that creates a separation between elements of the piece. There you go. Mm, but is it water? Your logical brain needs to turn off to understand this piece. Right, I did say that earlier. Yeah. Um, but the way you described it didn't sound good to me. <laughs> say again? What? Reiterate? Uh, a graphical element that separates blah, 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 is all I heard. But I just wanted to hear like, ooh, a whooshy bit. Yeah, it's a whoosh. Okay, there we go. Back on board. Cool, 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 cool. So noises work for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll keep that in mind for my To say to dispend your logical brain and then go on to say a graphical element that delineates the piece, I don't know, is like uh, one and the same. Well, logical brain meaning you need it to be a physical element. When you're looking at a piece and you see abstract shapes, they don't necessarily need to be water or mist or forest or anything like that. They can be blobs of color. And or as we like to call them, whoosh, whoosh. Uh, yeah, and I'm not sure if that's exactly how I want to handle it, but for now, I'm I'm fine. I think this is definitely one that I would come back to and like decide a few things on. Like you've seen me play with the opacity of this uh, background part, because I feel like the emphasis should be on this this little friend, and also we have this uh, color adjustment on the top. Um, and maybe I would do it just darker behind here, possibly. Like, uh, we could do full opacity and then behind the calendar, we could just select a little squaresies. 
And this isn't the final calendar. I'll redraw it and make it pretty. Obs. And we just fill it with this, and then we can make it like that. Or we could do the opposite and make it lighter behind it, so. Oh, that's different. Beep. Something like that. And it kind of gives it a little bit of a UI kind of feel. I don't know. There's something about it that reminds me of like how UI is designed. Like, look at these buttons. <laughs> look at all yeah. them chickens. I think it was called Arrow in Windows when they did the, the slight transparent things. Yeah, 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 exactly. A-E-R-O. Um, Sanctum says, Whiplash Wind, already getting that in Vermont. And Which... Kendall asks, it's fog? And Rin says, the graphic element then. He <laughs> he. And Rin <laughs> goes on to say, saying? swooshy bit. And Kendall <laughs> says, I vote fog swoosh. And Sanctum says, has to be the cloud mist over the trees, mountains. And Rin says, fog swoosh works. Whatever the swoosh may be, I loves it. <laughs> I'm grateful you're accepting of all the swooshes because these are very important swooshes and I need you to love my swooshes swoosh 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 also we can add no I'm not going to do that um, immediately huh yeah I just don't like the effect that Softlight had uh, we can add like little cloudy bits where it's like whoop, 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 you know whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, to whoop, clarify whoop, whoop. if we want it to be more misty can you believe we're already at six o'clock? No. Can you Crazy. Believe? You reminded me of Jonathan Van Ness. <laughs> Can you believe? <laughs> Alessandra says, Anna, by the way, I had the opportunity to talk with Leanne off stream the day no you way. were the host on Adobe Live. Yeah, wasn't she such a, a wonderful guest? And That's right. Rin says, we need a song dedicated to all the swooshy bits out there. And Sanctum says, you know, <laughs> Cody Bear would have liked seeing this piece. Oh my gosh, Cody Bear is autumn. I agree. Well, Cody Bear can do uh, draw this in your style of this piece anytime. Because that's the new show that Cody does. Have you seen that on Adobe Live? Mm -hmm. She basically brings on a guest and they draw each other's pieces. Like they already have a piece that they've painted. And then uh, it's just draw this in your style, but on stream. It's so cool. Cute. Are we seeing enough of the forest? Does that work? Is that cool? We can also uh, size it up. The only thing is I don't want too much of the foliage to overlap with our Pikmin. Oh, you guys can't see my cursor anymore, so <laughs> I was motioning. Um, so we could make it bigger, but I just don't want that, those oranges to get lost. Do you see how that happens? Yeah. You could put another green tree over there. Uh, yeah, it's just the where the forest starts kind of thing. Uh, and then, of course, we can always mess with our, our little pick friend. They can go anywhere. You know what? I think you mentioned this earlier about different screens and how this will be formatted on other people's monitors. Yes. Maybe it's not centered enough as it is. You want it to be moved inward? Closer to the I center. don't know. Is there a way to test it on? Is this your dimensions for your desktop? Uh, well, the, the dimensions right for now? my desktops, I believe, are different, but I can test it on mine right now. Yeah. Right, here I like to. Places, just so you don't see any files accidentally. Continue. I like. Well, I like seeing the full thing. So either is it fit or stretch, but when you stretch it, it gets all wonky. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's not the intention. Uh, save a copy. Okay. Well, it's saving the file right now. One sec. And if you do fill, then it crops off a portion of it. But if it's centered enough, then even if bits did get cropped off, all the vital stuff would still be there. Yeah. Okay. Now I just need to find it and post it. Making my desktop. Painting the roses red. Okay, now let's go back to this antique. And then when I minimize this, you should see it on my background. All right, three, two, one. <gasps> the big reveal. <gasps> Aw, cute. You know, another thing could be um, incorporating something in your illustration where you could like 
plop a file or the recycling bin or something. Yeah, that was kind of the intention is like that there should be empty space over here so that you could have at least a row of it or something like that. Oh, you guys can't see my cursor. Anthony, you can. Over I here. can see your cursor. It's on hovering over on the left hand side. <laughs> but I mean like uh, a mushroom that is drawn in a way that it looks like the recycling bin just like plops right in. I don't know if you could do that or not. I don't know, but we could experiment with that. If I make this a regular thing on Patreon, then we could be doing multiple of these and make it like really get to know what a desktop needs. You know? Yeah. What, I mean? <laughs> what a desktop wants, what a desktop, desktop needs. needs. Whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so uh, this is working pretty well, I'd say, for the aspect ratio yeah, of my desktop. I think so too. Um, is this yeah. your monitor or your Cintiq? That's the Cintiq. S same, same. Oh, okay, cool. Well, then it works on mine too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let me real quick just minimize some stuff to check the above one. And yeah, it works for that too. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, <laughs> bless you. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Wow, I have such a violent sneeze that actually hurt my throat. <laughs> wow. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're already at six. Do you think this is a good place to call it? Any last minute yeah. changes you can think of? No. No. I mean, it's still very much a work in progress, isn't it? I mean, no, it's done. It's beautiful. Well, obviously, we'd have to redraw this and everything, but I'm thinking we could probably add some more dimension to our pikmin and mushrooms just to get some of those darker darks uh oh yeah we have the last adjustment layer forgot to turn that on when we saved it out Ooh, rin mm -hmm. is thinking anna could make custom desktop icons oh my goodness mushroom for the recycling happen. bin like compost please can you imagine <laughs> if i did that and desktops and every single month you'd be set up for like a theme on your computer. Subscribe to Patreon. <laughs> Maybe it'll be one of the stretch goals or whatever it is. Like if we get this many people on Patreon, then we'll give you monthly wallpapers. I mean, I, I don't know how much work goes into that. Making wallpapers is not too bad. Uh, as long as the thing is, it, uh, it really does depend on what people need. Now, nobody's ever reached out to me to say, like, this is a bad aspect ratio for my computer or whatever, but I think they're just very accepting because <laughs> I can't imagine everybody's the same. So um, I just try my best and give them the files. I did have to crop my spicy Hades background to look good on my background because the way that the file was, it was more squarish. Mm-hmm. So I just like cropped in to make it the dimensions of my desktop. Gotcha. So it cuts off a lot of it, but it looks better than what it did when it was had the black borders on the sides or when it filled and just like chose a random spot of the image that it should have been like higher up. So you can see the content that mattered more than the other stuff. And then stretching it was like, well, it looks really wonky because the proportions are all off. Yeah, you should never stretch so, art. <laughs> it's not intended. I just <laughs> took it into Photoshop and cropped in. But the downside with that is it's not like a super high res file. It was just the artwork they posted on their Twitter. Uh, gotcha. So it looks a little artifacty. For sure. So I'm really excited about this November background. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite the same as spicy uh, Hades. Although I mean, we did I wasn't really going for spicy Hades. I was going for something fall slash Halloween themed and since Spicy Hades turkey. is I mean yeah don't forget about that duh <laughs> uh, that's another thing I wanted to bring back in here is the foliage uh, that I had around it kind of as a framing element I might bring that back um, but we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see we'll see and uh, thank you for being a part of this stream, everybody. I know it was a struggle bus at certain parts, but uh, we are very grateful to have you here, rain or shine, or very darkness. Like, I feel like I'm candle lit in the 18th century right now. It's kind of crazy. Ooh, <laughs> it's specific. much brighter in the room than it looks back. Candlelight was so different back then. <laughs> <laughs> you punk all right well we will see you again on monday okay well next week's gonna be weird because actually i'm gonna be on vacation but i do plan on doing some uh ipad oh, yeah, that's streaming. true so from your hotel is that gonna be silent streams yeah it would probably be silent streams but that's the whole reason to join the discord you'll know when we're streaming for sure on the stream schedules tab 
Uh, and uh, other than that, we regularly stream Monday and Wednesday for it to 6 p.m. Pacific. And we hope to see you here again uh, on YouTube and on Behance, hopefully. <laughs> I'll see you guys in two weeks then. <laughs> Well, we'll see. We'll see. We might do some kind of weird stream when I get back or something, but uh, it depends. Ooh. We'll talk about it. Anyways, okay. see you later. Have a good night. Uh, get vaccinated. Wear a mask. Oh, yeah. Oops All Bloops. Cool We're doing one of those soon. So This stream yeah. is brought to you by Oops All Bloops, which is a podcast that we do as a subscription on Behance. If you want to sign up to that, go to my Behance page, Anna Davis Court. It is $3 a month for two podcasts that are over a, an hour each and exclusive Discord access to a secret channel called bloopies or oops all bloops but you're a bloopy when you join it there you go that's true joe doesn't want you to work on vacation yeah that's the thing is stream isn't always work sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't there you go we'll feel it out but uh don't worry joe i know that you are trying to keep my vacation sacred and i totally appreciate that uh we'll see what happens and uh anthony is there anything you'd like to say before we leave um, check out some other streamers uh, over on Behance while Anna's potentially not streaming. That's Absolutely. always a fun thing to do. And definitely check out some of the Apex streams because Dark Hours works on a lot of those. And it's a hoot. And Dark Hours really doesn't time. want you to work on your vacation. So <laughs> no work. Maybe everybody just, even if Anna does stream, just don't show up. <laughs> Well, you know, I used to do art as a hobby and now I make money from it, but I still, I have that feeling of like, I still want to draw. And yeah. honestly, the silent streams are just drawing. It's, but I get to talk to people sometimes. It feels like a little club, yeah. but anyways, it's fun. Yeah. Um, if it is a silent stream, maybe it just won't be scheduled at the same time. Maybe it's just oh, like, totally. if you catch it, you catch it. And maybe that's when you're like winding down at the end of the day, but definitely. It's three or four o'clock in the afternoon is still like prime time to do beach things especially with how early the sun sets so i wouldn't I worry about doing at anything 6 on schedule PM is when the sun sets now which is yeah crazy but do we oh, have a yeah. uh, daylight savings it's gone week? according to my calendar from 2020 it's october <laughs> whoops <laughs> um, uh, silly Oh, uh, Joe is saying we'll be streaming on APAC again today, animating in Photoshop. All right. So we will be joining the APAC stream shortly. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Happy birthday, Head over to Discord, and there's probably a link in the promote yourself area if Dark Hours posted one there. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. But yeah, uh, that was our wrap up. <laughs> We're really good okay, at bye. wrapping things up. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. Hey, we didn't crash. Yay.